Welcome to the 2011 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. My name is Andy Aubrey, and my co-host for this event is a true gift to the community, the First Lady of Royal Oak, Jody Ellison. Jody, how are you this morning? I'm great, Andy. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. And uh, I don't think I'm overstating it by saying in the calendar of events here in Royal Oak every year, this is uh, one of the most shining jewels in that crown. Would you agree with that? I absolutely agree, and especially on a day like today when we have such beautiful weather. Beautiful weather. All this rain is finally let up, and we've got a great date. Uh, but let's not forget what we're really here for, which is to celebrate Memorial Day and to honor those who have fought for our country, both past and present, and uh, the sacrifices that they make to allow us to have the freedoms we enjoy and also their families, because they too make great sacrifices. Absolutely. So, with that, we're going to take a quick break, and we will be back to bring you this parade. Stay with us. Boldly go to socialsecurity.gov. If it wasn't so important, would I be wearing pointy ears? My name is Major Jeff Hall. I've seen how deadly combat can be. It was the second tour that I started to feel it grinding down on me. When I came back, I became more and more distant. My anger from work would carry over. Never physical. I, I didn't want them to be part of what was going on with me. It wasn't until Colonel Pinnell noticed and he helped me find the right program and uh, it helped us. So don't be afraid to come forward if you have trouble. Well, we will start this parade off as we always do with the Royal Oak Police Department and the Honor Guard. And Jody, you know, really police protect our freedoms in a similar way to the service men and women. It's more on a local level. Absolutely. Interestingly, we were watching um, uh, filming in Royal Oak the other day, and the officers were out here directing traffic and answering questions for pedestrians. Just, they are such wonderful, friendly people. Mm -hmm. Depending on what you're doing then. <laughs> as long as you're behaving. And behind the honor guard, we have some of our commissioners. Commissioner Pat Capello, David Poulton, and, of course, our lovely mayor, Jim Ellison. You have to say lovely mayor. He's, I do have to. I have to uh, talk to him at home. <laughs> Behind them, we've got the, uh, some of the Royal Oak football players carrying the American flag. Good job, fellas. The Royal Oak Ravens. That is a very large flag. Looks like they're being accompanied by acting police chief, Corey O'Donohue. Oh look, a fire truck. I like the pinwheels. Yeah, you want to move out of the way from that. <laughs> Absolutely. kids on board. How do you how do you get that? Here? I don't know. Wow. 
Who do I talk to? I'm not sure, but you think you have some pull. <laughs> oh, very little. Not as Don't much as you think? Yourself. Not as much as you think. Okay. Howdy, fellas. <laughs> Behind them, we've got the uh, Oakland County Sheriff's Patrol and the Adair car, which is standard here in our parade every year. And three motorcycles from the uh, the county. Uh, but no horses this year. No horses. And I do not see Sheriff Bouchard. Is he? Maybe he'll be here later. Um, oh, possibly. He's a busy man today. I yes, know that. I imagine he's, he is. He goes to the Berkeley Parade later, doesn't he? Uh, he'll be in Beverly Hills, actually. Oh, Beverly um, Hills, excuse at 11, me. 11, and then I think he's got Madison Heights later. In the day. Goodness. Yeah, it's a nice way to spend a day off. Really? That's right. He was, uh, he was, uh, Sheriff Bouchard was once a safe public safety officer, officer in Beverly Hills uh, in the early days of his career. Wasn't so, he a representative for a while was, as well? Yes, that's true. And a uh, village council person. So he's, wow. of course, having run for governor, he's got aspirations. He's not given up on yet. So, but he does a fine job. And as spend an entire career volunteering basically it's true. to keep us all safe well next up will be uh, some past veterans the, um, it's post 253 the American, American Foreign Legion yes right. Getting a nice round of applause from the masses. And well deserved. American Legion, Frank Wendland, post 253. And also Cavalry, post 276. And next we have the Batmobile. I guess maybe Batman's a veteran too. Chevy Impala, looking good. Oh my goodness, there's a dog sleeping in the back of that Jeep. I saw that, I hope we get a shot of that. And this would be, I guess, a different version of um, mounted Possibly veterans, I'm assuming veterans. American Legion members, that's right. Next up, we have the uh, Honor Flight Michigan Incorporated group. And they have a great cause of uh, sending World War II veterans back to Washington. And I know that the coordinators have been on the Royal Oak Show in the past, and it's just a tremendous program. Some of those veterans are actually moved to tears when they get there and yes. see the Arlington Cemetery and some of the history, and it brings them back. They're also able to reconnect with some of their former pals that they were uh, in the war with. I believe they also have a, uh, a film playing at noon at the main about Honor Flight. Wonderful. Well, next up's the Acorn Post. Several VFW members, and current Marines as well. We thank them for their service. We wouldn't be here without them. It's 
sporting their poppies in memory of Flanders Field. Right. I saw some poppy sales out on the roads last mm -hmm. week. Took advantage of that. Stuff the disabled American veterans. This is chapter 19 of the South Oakland branch, the DAV. I do believe we have the Kerr brothers coming up next. Unfortunately, one of the Kerr brothers, we're told, uh, was lost to us last year, but they are past grand marshals of this parade. And Four brothers serving in different branches of the military all during Vietnam. Right. Actually, a Chippewa Indian, and they have a fascinating story. I can only imagine what their mother went through. That's right. There's Pat. Pat Taylor going by. She was a uh, past parade chairwoman uh, over 20 years. She ran this Many years. parade and did a wonderful job. <laughs> and next is members of the Royal Oak Memorial Society. And there's Carol Hennessy. Exactly. Carol was um, very instrumental in getting the Veterans Memorial um, established where it is by the library. Yep. So we, fitting, I believe, that she's in that seat of honor. And she's been a Royal Oak Person of the Year, I believe. She has been, I believe. So and well, probably we've got a short break in the action here. We're going to uh, <laughs> break free for just a moment, but stay with us because we will be back with more of the 2011 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. I was severely injured in an ambush right towards the end of my first tour. Part of the, the stigma is that people think if I ask for help that I'm showing weakness, whereas I think it's just the opposite. It takes real strength to say, I've got an issue that I'm dealing with and, I, and it's affecting my life, and it's affecting my performance, and I need to, to go get some help. And I can attest that it's there and it does help. Things are so nice when you come back initially and then the regular life sets in and you start having trouble thinking about your past experiences. You have to be ready to tell your story, but this generation seems to want to talk about it and it's very therapeutic, so everybody should be given a chance to tell their story. We're taught from day one, recruit, train, and take care of each other, you know, no matter what the condition is. It all comes back to, it takes real strength to swallow your pride and say, I need help and actually get the help. Did you know that the average Social Security benefit is only $780 a month? I didn't know that. Did you know that most people will spend 20 years in retirement? I didn't know that. Did you know that a 40-year-old who saves $20 a week can have $75,000 when they retire? I didn't know that. There's a lot you might not know. To get free information about savings, visit our website or call this number. I know what to do now. As you get older, staying physically active is very important to your health. So the National Institute on Aging at NIH, part of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, created Go for Life. Go for Life has how-to flexibility, strength, balance, and endurance exercises you can do anywhere, along with success stories and free materials to help you become physically active. Find out more. Visit nia.nih.gov slash go for life. Well, next up here on our parade route is the Royal Oak is Trendy, Royal Oak is History. The Royal Oak Historical Society. Beat 
But the kids look like they're enjoying this beautiful day. Reenacting, frolicking from days gone by. It's amazing how they're able to cryogenically <laughs> maintain these people and then pull them out once a year for this parade. Next up, one of my old broadcast partners, the one and only Mr. Dale Piak, Vietnam era veteran from the Navy, and uh, Jim Adams, the Grand Marshal of this year's parade. Jim Adams was just recognized, I believe, this month by uh, Gary Peters for his service in World War II. Wow, very nice. Long time coming. We have the Royal Oak Missionary Society there, waving to the masses. And I believe this is their first time in the parade. I do not recall seeing them. I don't either. Right. Snazzy little bus. That's right. We got to commission that thing to drive us around later. Grab the crew and... I tell you. Celebrate Memorial Day. <laughs> Well, here we go. Living Royal Oak history, Jack and Patty Salter. Talk about two dedicated volunteers. I don't yes. think there's anything they don't uh, have their, their even, imprint on. They even have the senior center named after them. Oh my goodness, look at all of these people. Brett and Liz Talander, I see Dr. Steve Gustafson, our newest immigration judge, Mr. Dave Perush, or would that be the honorable the David honorable one? Perush? Yeah, I think that's I'm going to get that correct. right. In the distance, I hear drums. <gasps> Ooh. And frequently with drums, there's a band. And sure enough, it's the Royal Oak High School Marching Band. Go Ravens! Let's give them a listen, Jody. Following the band is the one and only Oakland County Commissioner, Democrat Dave Woodward. Another long time volunteer, politician. Dave has represented Royal Oak as, as a representative, as uh, not only the County Commissioner, but the chair of the Oakland County Democratic Party. That's right. Very involved, and he's about 12. And yeah. so that's pretty amazing. He's maintaining well. Maintaining well. So I meant to ask you, Andy, did you play in the high school marching band? Uh, no, I did not. I had um, very limited musical skills. Oh, I don't um, believe that at all. Also known as none. <laughs> so that I, I was an admirer of music. Uh, very good. Very good. Did you? Actually, I did. Is that right? Uh, trombone. What? Trombone. Yes, of nice. all things. Shortest armed trombone player in <laughs> history. Right? Okay. And there he is. Is it the both of them this year? We're kind well, of learning I as we go. Yes, Sandy, it is. Sandy, and there's Carl. It's Carl and Sander Levin. Just as reliable as, as the day is long in our parade every year. I tell you, Michigan is so lucky to have two such dedicated politicians representing us in Washington. Senator Carl is going with the Red Wing hat this year. He's, exactly. He sort of flips back and forth between the, uh, exactly. the Tigers and the Red Wings hat. Gentlemen, 
There they are. Great Americans. And coming out directly behind the Levin brothers, we have State Senator John Papa George. Also a veteran. Oh, and actually the car is being driven by his wife, Christine. State Representative Jim Townsend follows with his entourage in tow. One of Royal Oak's newest, yeah. Eco-friendly, you can tell by the recumbent bike. That's right. A friend of families, as we can tell by the little one. That's right. Well, this really is a family day. It is, absolutely. Family past and present. That's correct. Well, another standard here in our parade is the Dave and Vicky Banks calliope music. Who doesn't love a calliope? Oh, I know I do. You can almost never cry listening to calliope music. You know, we should make that a phrase. T-shirts. You can never cry <laughs> listening to the calliope. Followed by the Oak Ridge Co-op Preschool, another standard here in our parade. And they have a good position this year, right behind the Calliope. That's right. There they are, the little crumb crunchers. Looks like we have the Elks coming up, Andy. That's right, Jody. It's the well, post 1523 Royal Oak Elks. 75 years of community service. Freshly polished antlers for the parade. That's right. And the, and the representatives from the women's arm of the Elks, the Wapitis, yes. which is a fun word to say. Wapiti. Wapiti. I, I don't really get to say that often enough See, well, in my day-to-day. -day. Next up, an old fire truck. This one from Owingsville. Do you know where Owingsville is, Joe? I do not. Neither no, do I, I, but let's hope they don't have a fire because they've got some antiquated equipment. We'll make that a goal for today to find out where Owningsville That's right. is. We'll Google it. <laughs> See, there's homework even on <laughs> Memorial Day. This is an educational broadcast. Yes, it is. Next up, we've got the Royal Oak Eagles. I guess that would be our flyover for today. That's the flyover? By that was that, huh? More of a grounded flyover? A grounded flyover. And the, after the Fraternal Order of Eagles, we've got Cub Scout Pack 1067, Royal Oak. Or is that 1607? I'm sorry. I think it's 1607. 
I've always been a little dyslexic. Ah, that's okay. My old eyes, I had to look closely. Good representation from St. Paul's Lutheran Church and School. So who's back minding the church and school? Because it looks like everybody's here. The Lutheran School, yes, Royal Oak, uh, St. Paul's. Kids, bikes, flags, balloons. You can't beat that. Not at all. And dogs. Don't and dogs. dogs. All we're missing, I think, is hot dogs and ice cream. Yep, there will be a few barbecues later today. Absolutely. And, Ooh, and uh, one of the old-fashioned baseball games at That's Star right. JC. Mm-hmm. Well, next up, we've got the Ezra Parker chapter of the Daughters of American Revolution, Royal Oak chapter. They serve Royal Oak and surrounding communities, and they were founded on November 17, 1927. They have an active membership of 155 women and can trace their ancestry directly to the patriots who served or was involved in the American Revolutionary War. Most marchers are wearing authentic colonial costumes. The DAR promotes historic preservation and provides educational scholarships to area students, among other civics projects. And that blue 1938 Chrysler Royal Touring Sedan is being driven by Hodars, which is the husbands of the Daughters of American Revolution. That car has been in their family since it was new. You can see the white convertible too, and I believe all of those all of Some the of members, members in the convertible, and I, I apologize, I don't know their names, but they're all over 90 years old and still waving. And still waving. And still waving. I hope I can still wave at 90. Oh, I think you'll be waving and smiling both. Well past that? I think so. Well, I've got the fountain of youth. You do. That's I've, I've right. noticed I, that. I'm, uh, You've not gotten a day older in the I'm time I've known you. <laughs> well, you've only known me five minutes. <laughs> And yet we're old friends we already. We have just seems like it's been longer than that. More music in the distance. I hear it, I see it. The Royal Oak Middle School marching band. The marching bulldogs. Go dogs. Go dogs. Let's listen to what they have for us this morning. few people realize is that they're actually doing semaphore signs there. They're saying, come to the memorial service after the parade. You're quite a good flag reader. I had no idea, and I don't know where we'd be without you at the moment. It's a gift. Obviously. <laughs> yes, they might have been fanning us, which we appreciate. Yeah, that was kind of nice. But after the Bulldog Marching Band, we've got Cub Scouts, Cub Scouts, and more Cub Scouts. <laughs> Can you ever have too many Cub Scouts? I don't think so. Especially if you're not a Girl Scout. <laughs> or if you are a Girl Scout. If I you are say. a Girl Scout. Or either way. 
and they do their share of community service projects. I know my sons and the Cub Scouts, and we uh, do everything from rake leaves for folks in the neighborhood to spearhead the can drive mm -hmm. and Christmas mm -hmm. time and so forth. So they start the service projects young. Which is as it should be. As it should it helps be. Helps them grow into good, beneficial, contributing members of society. Yes, ma'am. Speaking of good, beneficial, contributing members of society. It's the ancient order of Hibernians, the Norman O'Brien Division. I think they're just recovering from St. Patrick's Day. To That's be here right. Today. They, they think it's still St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> And more Cub Scouts, pack 1600 this time. Oh, here we go. We're gonna have the women represented. Looks like we have daisies coming up. Daisies, brownies. <laughs> This is starting them really young here. I tell ya. But that's okay. Singing around the campfire. Mmm, s'mores. All right. As we enter camping season, if the rain would stop, maybe we can actually camp some people. I would guess from the sign, they're from Northwood. I would guess. Girl Scouts, Troop 15330, the Daisy Troop. Following the Girl Scouts, and I believe again, for the first time in the Memorial Day Parade, um, representatives from the Knights of Columbus from Shrine of the Little Flower. Today. Well, I tell you, having a cape, I, I just, I envy those guys. I know, I know. They, they cut a dashing figure, that's for sure. Not everybody can pull that off. And as you were mentioning earlier, Jody, the Wahoo Baseball Club up next in their traditional uniforms. And they will actually play a game later today. They will. I guess, I believe against the... La -di -das. Is that it? The Wahoos and the La -di -das. Place your bets. <laughs> no aluminum bats in that era, I know. Nothing but the wood stuff. Oh. Dondero Royal Oak High School Alumni Club. Because, of course, we all know that Dondero is now Royal Oak Middle School. That's right. But the former graduates are proudly holding on to their history, as they should. Oh, this looks like fraternization. We have a Wahoo and a la -di da walking together. Beware of that. Katie's kids. Followed by the, by the Royal Oak Chiefs and Chargers. The players and the cheerleaders. That's right, they're all here today. And the moms and the dads and the coaches and the fans. And there's Coach Griffin.
they all are. Football in May. And with a break in the action, we will be right back after this message. Behind the wheel, there is no such thing as a small distraction. A public service reminder from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Visit decidetodrive.org. I made a promise to my family that I would start taking better care of myself. You have many reasons to stay healthy. Exercise and physical activity can help. So the National Institute on Aging at NIH, part of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, created Go For Life. I now exercise three times a week. Featuring exercises you can do anywhere. I can really go. Find out more. Visit nia.nih.gov slash go for life. My name is Major Jeff Hall. I wouldn't go to combat for anybody else. If you said that we were going to storm the gates of hell today, I would say, all right, sir, let's go. I've seen how deadly combat can be. It was the second tour that I started to feel it grinding down on me. When I came back, I became more and more distant. I could tell when he walked in the door of the hangar. He wasn't the same man. They didn't know what to say, what to ask. My anger from work would carry over. Never physical, I just wanted them to go away. I didn't want them to be part of what was going on with me. I wasn't about to go to behavioral health. In my mind, that was the death of my career. It wasn't until Colonel Pinnell noticed, and he helped me find the right program, and uh, it helped us. I don't believe that it will wreck your career like I did in the beginning. And I'm starting to see it at the higher levels of command. They're understanding, wow, we owe these guys a chance to heal. So don't be afraid to come forward if you have trouble. And we're back. More music for you here in the 2011 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. sure Andy but I think this band might be from what do you think venture cast, I guess is we say we've been told cast tech there Maybe, you go. Uh, we should have uh, well we're not positive right now but they got some moves and great costumes but I'm thinking I see SL. Maybe it's Southfield Lathrop. I do know they are uh, red and black. Red, black, and school black. colors. So I believe I see an SL there, which makes some sense. Ah, there you go. So it's not just for cats. No, nope, we're looking at the Southfield Lathrop band. Very good. Andy, what would we do without you? I don't know. You'd uh, make it probably. I'm no, I don't think so. That. Ooh, and there's an L. Southfield Lathrop. Lathrop. Yes, Yes, good job.
and the rhythm, of which they have more of in their baby fingers than I have Incredible. in my entire body. Fantastic. There they go. Well, we appreciate having them in Royal Oak this morning. They sound great. That was quite a performance. Absolutely. And following the Southfield Lathrop Marching Band, we have some of the fine Department of Public Services vehicles. No need for a snow plow today, although it got put to good use this year, that's for sure. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And kudo after kudo to all of the DPS workers who were just out there tirelessly removing the snow. I believe, as always, when the DPS trucks show up, it's time for the parade to end. Yes, it's sort of a... Metaphor, it's cleaning it, up. They are cleaning up, which they do so well. And we appreciate their service to our community. It's never to be understated that we need them and their efforts. Especially the Vector VAC <laughs> 9000. Hey, if you don't have it, you know it. <laughs> <That's> it <right. laughs> you want it there when you need it. That's for sure. And a Royal Oak police vehicle, which does signal the end of this parade for us. So, we're going to put a bow on this one. And uh, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching our parade. Jody, it's been a pleasure as always working with you. Oh, as always, Andy. It's been wonderful working with you. Thank you. And if you see a man or woman in service uniform, take a moment to thank them for their service. Because without them, we would not enjoy the freedoms that we have. So uh, let's remember all those men and women who are currently serving in overseas as well as those who have done so in the past. And thank you very much for that. So with that, we'll sign off. Thank you for watching our parade, the 2011 version of the Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. Jody Ellison, thank you again. And thank you, Andy Aubrey. And I appreciate that. And we will see you again here on WROK. So long.